Thank you, Senator Hutchison, for a nice introduction. Good morning, everyone. I am um, delighted to be here to welcome you very briefly to uh, your conference, uh, but also to, um, to say thank you again, a well-deserved and earned thank you uh, to Senator Hutchison for all she's done for so many years in the United States Senate, but not just for her well-known work there, but for her not as well-known work outside this room uh, with organizations, important organizations like this one. Um, Kay, your, your work over the years is already paying huge dividends, and I think I can say without reservation that generations um, of future Texans will benefit from your work. So thank you very, very much. Um, as Speaker of the Texas House, um, I preside over a body that um, is more or less, I think, the size of this group here today. Um, and like this group, we often have fascinating debates over uh, important issues. Now, it may surprise you that not all of those debates are over issues such as computational, the computational revolution. Um, in fact, in 2009, the very first bill that was passed in the Texas House legalized the shooting of hogs from helicopters. <laughs> we called that the Pork Chopper Act. <laughs> and in this most recent session of the legislature, um, we had a lengthy and very serious debate over which pie should be the state pie. Uh, but you need not worry, pecan won and it wasn't even close. Uh, but on a more serious note, uh, tomorrow afternoon, I know that you will be hearing from a few of my colleagues in the Texas House and in the Texas Senate uh, about the legislature's commitment to higher education and to research. And I want you all to know that I am your friend and that I am a friend of the institutions that you represent. And I appreciate all that TAMIST and the members uh, of this organization do for Texas. Uh, hundreds of thousands of people are moving to this state every single year. It's projected that our population will double again uh, by the year 2060. And this growth means that we'll have more children in our schools, uh, be greater demand for our natural resources, additional stresses to our electric grid, and obvious implications in healthcare. And um, although your respective areas of study are as diverse um, as this state, and as this population will become, everything you do will impact the future of Texas. So I wanna thank you all for your critically important work in keeping Texas competitive and keeping Texas vibrant. Uh, your discoveries in the fields of engineering and medicine and science are true economic drivers for this state. So I'm going to close with a quote from a founder of the UT Chemistry Department who in, in 1892, Dr. Edgar Everhart wrote in an article about the creation of a Texas Academy of Science. Um, he said in that article, Texas has ample and first class material in her young men for the making of future scientists, both pure and practical. We should encourage by every means in our power the study and prosecution of the exact and natural sciences, because no matter what may be said to the contrary, on them rest our comfort, our welfare, and our progress. Now today, of course, he would say young men and women, and he would also, as I do, uh, thank you all for everything that you are doing for the future of Texas. I look forward to getting to know you better, as the Senator uh, has asked me to do, and um, I want you all to know that my door is open to each and every one of you. I have an outstanding staff, and, um, and I do understand how important the work that you're doing is to the future of Texas. Have a great conference, and thank you very much for having me today.